Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to download, use, and set up the Magic Mirror. So first off, go ahead and go to this site in the description. You're going to click download free standard edition on booth. You're going to click free download right here. And create an account. If you have created an account, it should be downloading. And if you want to learn more about it, you can watch this. But it is only in Japanese, sadly. Once it's downloaded, you're going to go ahead and open it up. Once it is open, it should look like this. First things first, on the bottom right here, you have your save. If you want to save your avatar and all the settings you have. Right here is where you get your avatar. Go ahead and click that. You can either create an avatar, which will be later in the video. You can go to the avatar site and favorite avatars from other people that have created avatars. Or you can go here and pick one of the standard presets. Once you pick your avatar, it should look like this. I forgot to mention, you're going to have to click load file on PC and then extract the VRM files. These three tabs up here, hands, accessory, and X tracker aren't very important. Next, you're going to go to the streaming tab. Here you can enable lip sync and what that does is, as you can see here, my character's mouth is moving when I talk and that's basically what it does. This, this does not require a face cam, but if you do have one, it's best to use the face tracker as well. Here you can enable free camera mode and what that does is let you zoom out and in on your character and let them move around. Here's the typing effect. So if I pick this one, it'll do a bunch of letters. If I do this one, it will be just a cool light effect. This one is like many butterflies flying out. Not bad, it's pretty cool. Here you can enable or disable the avatar shadow. I think it's pretty cool if you have it enabled, especially on streaming so it's more realistic that's pretty much it the rest you can explore for yourself and uh, if you like what you have done you can go ahead and save so I'm going to teach you how to use the green screen for this and it is very easy first thing you're gonna click this plus button create a game capture name it whatever you want click OK make sure the mode is on capture specific window Click on the game capture you have just created, go to window, and apply VMagic Mirror. Now you can see my virtual face cam of my avatar and my avatar's mouth is moving when I talk. When I move around my mouse, you can see it when I use my keyboard. Now obviously what you want to know is how to make it clear, how to use the green screen. This is very simple. What you're going to do is go to filters. Click this plus, apply chroma key, and apply color correction. Go ahead and close it, and there you go. It should be clear. You can uh, make it smaller. You can hold alt, crop it, whatever you want to do. But uh, that is how you use the green screen. Now I'm going to be showing you how to create your own avatar if you do not like any of the avatars on the site or any of the presets. I'll also leave that in the description. Go ahead and launch it. I'm going to ask you some information, to sign in, etc. Click create new. Pick which one. All of this is mostly self-explanatory, but I will still show you some stuff. Hairstyle for some hairstyles, obviously. If you want shorter, longer, want to make your avatar look like someone from a show, anything. Your outfit, you have whole sets, tops, bottoms, dresses, socks, shoes. You can do skin tone. There's quite a bit to look at on this side right here, as you can see. expressions yeah go ahead and look through it yourself and uh it's going to take a bit but once you finalize your avatar to what you want it to look like or if you want it to look like you different eyes most of these look like they're from an anime or something that's what they're going 
for here. But yeah, it's pretty easy and self-explanatory. Once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and save it, and you can save it to either to yourself or you can post it to the public so other people can use it. Doesn't matter. But that's how you create your own avatar. Pretty much it. If you have any questions, ask in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, I hope that you can leave a like or subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.